Will you please welcome Johnny Fox. All right. Listen, what I'm going to do is something that's dangerous to any kids out there watching. Don't get the idea that you can do this. This isn't like putting beans in your nose, okay? <laughs> also, Johnny Fox, it's just a stage name. My real name is John Fox. <laughs> hey, look, the humor's going to stay on the light side for this. We're going to keep it sort of tongue in cheek, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hey, it's the mustache. Oh, disappointed, huh? If you don't like it, I'll get rid of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, this is a trick sword. I threw this one in there because people don't know sword swallowers. They think they all swallow trick swords. This is, it's a tape measure. But now you know what to look for if you ever see sword swallowing again. There's a tape measure there in the handle. Numbers have been rubbed off of it. It's because when it's yellow and has numbers on it, it doesn't fool too many people. <laughs> it's also fun for playing things like Excalibur. You'd be walking through the woods, you find a big rock, you bend down and say, hey, look, I'm king. <laughs> This is not a trick sword. You can't do that with a tape measure. The blade is solid. I want you to notice how far down this goes. Yes. Into the stomach, three quarters of an inch. If you look close, you'll see there's a little gauge there. It says empty and full. See that? <laughs> Here, 22 inches of cold steel. I'll now impale myself for your pleasure. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's too easy. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set the sword in place, and I'll take the hands away, and I'll snap the fingers, and in one gulp, it'll drop on its own accord. Yeah, it's gross, but you'll watch. Hey, notice this next blade here. This is a ceremonial sword from the Philippines. It's called a Chris. The blade starts very small, gets wider and wider. As the blade nears the hilt here, the blade's wider than the handle. There isn't a possible way it's gonna fit into the handle, but people will still have a tendency of saying there has to be a trick to it. If you can't believe it, watch the Adam's apple. As the sword goes down, because of the curves in the blade, sometimes you'll see the Adam's apple move from side to side, proving it's true. Yes, like this. Now wait, wait, the Adam's apple's not like that from the sword. It's normal for anyone's Adam's apple to do that. You all have that flexibility to assist that you've never checked. If you look around now, you'll see people checking. It's like my part of the show where the audience entertains me. Look out there and see a few people going. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look, I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. Okay, because this blade gets wider and wider, I have to relax deeper and deeper as the blade goes deeper and deeper. First for the point to initially enter the esophagus, second time here, third time there, then the hilt will reach the mouth. I'll be just fine. Bon appetit. time for the finale, the legendary sword sandwich. Not one, not two, not four, not five, three. Three swords, three different lengths. Simultaneously, they all get swallowed. Then with the swords inside me, I'm gonna take a bow and let someone from the audience remove the swords. No, no volunteers, I don't take volunteers for this. It's just that I have this reoccurring dream of a volunteer taking the swords out. Every dream, it's like this. Hey, my wife just had a baby boy. I'm a father now for the first time. Hey, yeah. hey Kelly. Yeah. Such a cute little kid. He's got this little pacifier, a little sword on the end of it. Yeah. Someone to remove the swords. 
Um, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm looking. I'm looking for someone in particular. Um, hold on. Wait. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. He said he'd be here. Uh, you'll do good. What's your name? Elizabeth. Let's hear it for Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Elizabeth. Very good. Very good. Elizabeth. This is what happens. I'm going to swallow the swords. With the swords inside me, I'm going to take a bow, and I'd like you to have your right hand palm up. Right hand palm up. And why don't you face me this for this? Good. I'll take the swords. Swallow the swords. Put them in your hand. Hold them gently. I'm going to back away. That's important. Don't reach for the handles. I'll put them in your hand. When they're in your hand, hold them. Don't pull. Don't push. And don't do this. <laughs> and now the sword sandwich. Everything goes right. I'll give you a nice present. Just watch. She was great, huh? Before you go, Elizabeth, before you go, I have something I want to give you as a gift to remember the occasion taking the swords out of a sword swallower. You accept present? It's a, it's a nice watch. How do you like it? That's my watch. It's from me to you. Thank you. All right, you guys are great. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. Good job.